everybody, my name is KenyaK, and there's currently no response from the game server. Thank you, Konami. Thanks for that. <laughs> Apologies if I sound a little hoarse today. I was screaming a little too much. I actually, um, I actually popped in like a cough drop right before I started streaming. Hopefully that'll help out a bit. But yeah, I screamed a little too much yesterday. Uh, Sonic... Adventure DX Chaos Edition is very rage-inducing. <laughs> ah, today we're playing Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace Neck. This is probably the only set that I'm gonna make. This is probably the only deck that I'm gonna make for this entire set because dang it, Konami. I don't have the gems. I don't have the gems, Konami. Stop it. Oh no. No, he refuses to give me any sort of meaningful URs. Anyways, this is the deck. So I'm running three copies of Rescue Ace Hydrant. Rescue Ace Hydrant. Most people run only two copies. However, I'm running three. You wanna know any reason? Is because I don't have enough materials to make the other URs. So I'm running three because I have three. That's the only reason why I'm running this. And I'm running the Snake Eyes engine here because I already had it and because it's kind of broken. I'm only running two copies of Max C in here uh, because I don't really have the room. And I'm running three copies of Ash Blossom because this, this is primarily a control deck. I could probably cut the Ash Blossom for another copy of Max C or for another like consistency card. But, again, I, I don't have the materials to make those. Well, I do, it's just I don't want to, because if I keep making materials, I'm not going to have any left over for the next set. And I'm running three copies of Impulse. I also, I also got a Royal Rare one. It's pretty neat. I, I mean, this never comes up. I, I never summon this, but it's there. And three copies of Airlifter. Airlifter gets you to your field spell, which is probably either going to be... Well, it gets you to your spells, which is either going to be HQ or emer EMERGENCY! As an exclamation mark, therefore I have to, uh, exclaim it. I have one copy of Fire Attacker and one copy of Engine. Honestly, you can probably cut these, but they're, like, more consistency options and used as a link material. And I have three copies of Diabell Star because th this engine is broken. And I have two copies of Preventer. Uh, Preventer isn't really a starter card. It's more of, like, setting up your board so you don't really need three copies of these. Uh, I have, like, two copies. You could probably cut it down to just one. However, I don't want to because this cost me crafting materials. I think I, I drew, like, I, I did th a 30 poll the other day. And I basically got no Rescue Ace URs. I don't even remember what I got. I think I disenchanted it immediately. And I have two copies of Turbulence because I don't have the materials to get more ones. And I'm running copy of Reinforcement of the Army that's gonna get you your Warrior, your Airlifter. And I'm running one copy of One for One. Uh, there is... Most decks usually cut one for one for another copy of Bonfire or another copy of Emergency. However, I'm choosing to run one for one purely because I already have one for one and I don't want to make another Emergency. And I don't want to make another Bonfire. I had to manually craft this Emergency and these two Bonfires. I don't want to craft anything else. I might have to though. Because like, Emergency is just better one for one. And I'm running one copy of Sinful Spoiled Snake Eye. I'm running a copy of HQ. Running two copies of Schrodinger's Call of the Grave. And I'm running one copy of all the funny spell traps. And I, I want to play more of these, but I don't have the materials to craft them. Well, I do, but I don't want to. And I'm running two of the traps here. And I'm running one of the Reinforce. The extra deck... Uh, pretty much doesn't matter. The only thing that actually matters here is probably Kita. 
Probably Masquerina and definitely Promethean Princess. Everything else it doesn't really matter, actually. Maybe Link Karibo matters because sometimes you want to get Hydrant into the graveyard, but that's literally the only thing that matters. Anyways, let's start the duel. I would like to duel. Let's go. I did actually have quite a fun time playing Sonic, like, in yesterday's uh, stream. Despite the fact that I was, like, basically raging and screaming my head off. I don't know, sometimes rage content is fun. I think that's why people play League of Legends. It's why I used to play League of Legends. I don't play it anymore. Okay, uh, I see I have drawn the thing that I do not want to draw. Yeah, it's another reason why I don't think one for one is that good, because you do have to discard a monster. Although I guess I can discard the popular. But why am I going second though? I never- I don't know. Doesn't like dinosaurs have a card that makes like their entire field like completely immune? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter as much because it's a spell trap deck. But at the same. Okay, but like, what if I activate Seeker of Sinful Spoils and pretend and somehow trick my opponent into thinking that I'm actually playing Snake Eyes? And then he blows all of his cards, trying to negate my snake eyes. I'm like, ha ha! I have a fire hydrant. Yeah, this is like... I think dinos are pretty good against control decks, especially when I'm going second because this game hates me. You know, I've been consistently playing Duel Links because there's a currently like a Kaiba Cup going on. And like, I swear, I've gone, I'm not even exaggerating, 20 games going first while I only have going second decks in that game. But in this game, I seem to only go second. Like, no matter what I do. But maybe I would have some going first decks in Duel Links if Konami actually gives me the cards that I need. So yeah, I'm a... I'm very reluctant to, like, pull for cards in Duel Links now, because, like, I basically spent, like, 7,000 gems trying to make a TG deck, and it didn't give me a single TG card. And you cannot craft cards in that game. Because reasons. Thanks for that, Konami. Uh, I think I might just lose here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose here. If he just summons Baron. If he summons a combination of Baron and Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, I'm probably just dead. Hello again? Hello! Welcome back to the stream! But yeah, I'm probably just dead here. If he summons a Baron and he summons Ultimate Conductor Tyrant, like I can go through one negate, but if he has multiple ones, then I'm pretty much just dead. What the heck is this? But why though? But why though? But why though? Stop it. What the heck? Why is this not once per turn? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just dead. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna scoop. Uh, this deck rate basically does nothing going second. Okay, I need to... I think... I don't want to, but I think I just have to craft more cards. It's like, 
If I'm not running the super OP like version of this deck, then there's like really no point. Um, ah, I don't want to, but I think I have to craft another emergency. Emergency. Surely another copy of Emergency will solve my going second problems. Because, like, this deck is something that you do want to craft for, because I think it's really good. Um, but then I have to get rid of my one-for-one. One. I think I have to just get rid of my one-for-one. One. It's, like, it's too inconsistent. And... I keep drawing Poplar, too, in my opening hand. I keep drawing, like, Popular and the cards that get to Poplar. I mean, that's why I have two copies of Poplar in here, is because I keep drawing them. Surely I won't draw multiple copies of Poplar, and I am once again going second. Thank you, Konami, for... Uh... See, Konami has programmed it into the game so that... Oh, thank you for drawing my other copy of Poplar, Konami, and the thing that also gets me to my Poplar. Ah! <laughs> what is this? What is this, Konami? I would like to draw the fire truck. I would like to draw fire trucks in my fire truck deck. That would be very convenient. I have significantly more fire trucks than I have the Abel Stars. And yet, Konami thinks I only want to play Diabell Stars. You want me to only play? You want me to only play Snake Eyes, Konami? Because I can. I can only play Snake Eyes. I have a Snake Eyes deck. Is that what you want me to do? Uh, okay. So, first of all, I'll activate this. And I'll chain block with Poplar. He thought I was playing a Snake Eyes deck. The fool. <laughs> he didn't know. He lacks critical information. He thought I was playing a deck that infinitely, infinitely spams more. But no, this is just an engine. This is just an engine. Oh, finally, I get to go first. Would you look at that? It only took 17 years. I was like kind of worried that it would just kick me out to the lobby again. Evan's like, oh, oh, that was your one going first of the entire stream. You used it up. You can never go first again. Hey guys, how's everyone going? Hey, AR, welcome to the stream. I am currently attempting to go first with my going first deck. So far, I've got one out of three. Uh, also, I think my opponent, by the fact that he only has five cards in his extra deck, he might be playing some kind of BS stun deck. He definitely has Cyberstein in his deck, despite the fact that it is banned. He has the illegal Cyberstein in his deck. Speaking of illegal cards, I did watch, like, the most recent episode of Shadowverse Flame earlier today. And I'm like, I I'm watching it, right? And they're all summoning monsters and stuff, right? Because the main characters and stuff. They're summoning their, like, ace monsters and I'm like... And all I can think of is... How are you summoning illegal cards? This game uses set rotation format. Your cards were banned, like, two formats ago. How are you still summoning them? I think, like, the third season of Shadowverse Flame, I actually think it's pretty weak. Because, like, it, it basically spends, like, half the episode, like, catching up with characters from, like, the previous anime, of which... I never watched because everyone advised me not to watch it because the first iteration of Shadowver the Shadowverse anime is actually really bad. <laughs> so I'm like, alright Shadowverse, I'm gonna give you one more chance, but you're not- you're not- 
going off on a very good start. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Slow Play. I, I see you there. Enjoy your slow play, man. Listen, never be afraid of reporting your opponent. For you see, just like in League of Legends, your reports do never matter. So you can report all you want. Okay, so I'm going to normal summon the airlifter. And I'll grab the emergency. And I'll activate the emergency to summon... I would rather not have this in my hand, but... Well, I mean... Hmm. Okay, but like... What if I grab the hydrant? And... I can't... I could tribute this. I don't really want to. No, I, I want- I want the- I need this into the graveyard if I want to summon Turbulence. So I'll just do this. And I'll activate... The Hydrant before something goes horribly wrong. And... I mean... I could just summon this. I think I'll just... No, I think this one is better. I'll just add this to my hand. And I'll just... Banish everything from my graveyard. No, maybe I should have just activated Rescue first. Love the presence video you did some time ago. Yeah, it was really great. I mean, like, I do have more plans on it. But it's currently being, like, really stalled out. Because, like... 11 Labs has banned the uh, Trump and Biden voices. So I'm trying to look for another one that I can use. I'm trying to look for like another software, but I haven't found one. Like the one that I wanna look, the one that I wanna use, it's basically like, they don't have like multi-language stuff. So I can't have them speaking in Japanese. Whereas I, I would really want them to speak in Japanese because I think it's really funny. But yeah, I'm currently like looking for a replacement on that and I have some stuff that I have to get out of the way uh, anyways, like beforehand. So it is a little bit of uh... Yeah, I'm currently like, I have to get rid of some uh, IRL stuff beforehand. But I mean like, it's still in the works. I will do it, get back to it eventually. It just, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. After this duel against me, if you got time. All right, I can. I can duel against you. Um, and I guess I just attack like a regular person. Oh wait, no. This is this is made. Fa this is the first turn. Oops. Oops. Um, do I want to go into a Link Monster, though, is the question. I don't think I do. Because, like, Princess will get me more stuff, but I don't really need more stuff. I think this is fun. I probably should have summoned the Airlifter instead. Oh, well. Wait till later to Link Summon sincerely. Kind of thinking that as well. I do have an impulse in my hand. Uh. Okay, my opponent is one of two things. Is either a bot. But how the heck did a bot get in? Like I'm in platinum. How the heck did a bot get in here? Okay, well fine, if you're gonna waste my time, then I'm going to waste your time as well. It's fine, Nibiru definitely doesn't exist. Um, I'll grab the airlifter because I want the field spell. And I'll just summon the airlifter. 
to grab HQ. Um, I don't actually need to activate the HQ right now. I guess I'll just Link Summon. It's fine! Nibiru definitely doesn't exist. And even if he does, this is a spell trap deck, so it actually doesn't really matter. Maybe he should have summoned Dia Bellstar first. Oh well. Go, Promethean Princess What's Her Face! Go, my fire extender that basically that's all in it that's basically all she is in this deck. Don't worry, I'm just farming daily missions. I'm just farming daily missions, it's fine. It's fine. I have to lick summon sometime. And I mean, I, I guess I just normal summon the impulse because I can. I guess I'll just attack normally now because I can. You know what would be funny? I should have summoned Fire Engine in attack position and just attack with it using Reinforce because I think that's funnier. Go! I activate daily mission! I activate trap daily mission! Actually, if you think about it, because I was previously I was basically spamming um I was spamming trap tricks in order to clear the trap daily mission. This one actually does that as well. Although trap tricks, like if you want to basically just clear out your daily missions as fast as possible. Just make trap tricks, because they, they use traps, they destroy, they link summon, they XC summon. If you're lucky, you can clear out like 9 daily missions in like a single duel. Actually no, not 9 because one of them is a solo game. You recommend a good deck type for anyone new to Master Duel? That is a loaded question, my friend. That is a loaded question. <laughs> I don't- I think it's very difficult to answer that question, <laughs> but, um... If you're really new to Master Duel, if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh before, then, um, you can probably grab the Dragon Mage structure deck from the shop. And if you're really comfortable with Yu-Gi-Oh, then I recommend the, um, Blackwing structure deck from the shop. The Blackwing structure a structure deck from the shop is like you just need three copies of those and you've basically just you already have a deck the dragon made one you do have to like probably combine with something else probably albaz but it's simpler to pilot meanwhile uh black wings are more difficult to pilot because you just summoned like your entire deck but if you get your full black wing combo off then your opponent basically can't play uh but if you're completely new to Yu-Gi-Oh! I recommend- it, I don't think it's that good anymore, but a really simple deck and pretty cheap to make too is probably uh, Eldritch. Uh, Eldritch is like pretty simple to pilot. It doesn't have that many combos. Uh, let me bring up the room ID first. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Here it is. go there's the room id in the bottom left corner of the screen <clears throat> which summon type do you think was the most broken before nerf i always thought it was synchro uh it is probably either synchros or Actually, no, it was probably either, I want to say either XCs. Well, if, if you're talking about, like, summon types as a whole, then probably Pendulums. But if you're th talking about, like, specific archetypes, probably either XCs or Pendulums. I mean, like, that's why they invented, like, monsters just to nerf Pendulums.
Because pendulums are broken. Pendulums are absolutely broken. And I think they're, like, just coming off of the fact that a lot of the cards in early Pendulum era did not have hard ones per turn effects. Like, in particular, I'm, ta I'm mainly talking about, like, like, Pendulum Magicians and Zodiacs were really broken back in the day. However, I do have... I do have the pleasure of uh, taking a giant... I basically took a giant hiatus between um, the second half of Zexel to the middle part of Vrains. Like, actually no, the latter half of Vrains. So I, I took a huge hiatus from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because like, I was just... I stopped being interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! around that time, so I never had to deal with full-powered Pendulum Magicians or Zodiacs. Perhaps I should have done something else. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hmm. Manage to come to the graveyard, add one little bit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, in that case, I don't... I shouldn't put... Poplar in the spell trap zone because this is not a snake eyes deck. However, I do I do play pendulum magicians. Well, I don't really per se play. Oh no! My one weakness! A level one tutor! I do play pendulum well I I'm more I more play um it's more like I play Odd Eyes, not necessarily Pendulum Magicians. Why do I keep drawing this? I don't want to draw this. This does nothing in the head. Well, it does, but I can't use it right now. Unless... Okay, but like... What if I just summon this? Oh, I need to tribute something. Oops. 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 No, it's fine. It's it's probably fine. And then I'll banish these two and break out my big giant fire engine. I tried ma I tried using this deck before the Diabell Star engine got released to this game. It was so bad. <laughs> It was it was borderline unplayable, but dang it, I wanted to use the really big fire engine deck because it's funny. It's funny until you start losing, and then it becomes funny when it begins winning, but not for your opponent though. And I'll put this face down, and I'll end my turn. I have successfully summoned my entire deck in my spell trap zone. Oh no, my one weakness. A feather. Okay, in that case, I think I just have to tar uh, activate everything. It's Probably fine. Uh, and then hold on. Management specific control blah 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 blah. Okay, that's what it does. Um. I think I saved this one because this one is kind of useless by itself. Um. This is still one in the graveyard. Okay. Oh, that's why. And then I think I activate this. And then you know what? I'll just activate this. I can now make Baron the Floor, which is not in this deck because I don't own any tuners. And then um. 
I think I add this one to my hand. Wait, I should have added something else to my hand. Oops. Oops. I, I should have added the one that gets me the spell card. Oops. Create a new deck, but look for a good engine. Ooh. Good for them. Search card. Place one. Which is okay. Uh, that's what it does. Okay. Opponent cannot target spell cards or effects. Face of you, add one. Okay, that's what it does. And okay, uh, okay. In that case, I'm going to activate the effect of reinforce. It has an exclamation mark. It has an exclamation mark, so I have to yell it. Wait, does this only do spell traps? Or no- okay, so this only does spells. Oh, in that case, I should not have activated this. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I shouldn't have activated this. Oops. I have to get used to playing with Reinforce. I'm just not used to Reinforce at all. Okay, it's probably fine, I think. Okay, so that is... Okay, so first of all, I'm going to activate the effect of this impulse, this royal rare impulse in my hand. And I'm going to summon, wait, what happened to my, can I only, hmm. What happened to my other copies of Airlifter? Okay. I just strange. Um, what do I add? Or what do I special summon rather? This one's per turn. Yeah, this is only one's per turn. I should not have. I should not have selected this one. I think I made a mistake. I, I should have selected the other one. I don't think this does anything right now. I should not have special summoned your effect, Valor. Now I have no more room. Okay, so that is that, which means that I am going to activate this Preventer to flip your Harmonizing Magician face down. And then... Okay! Oh yeah, that thing exists. I don't think... I don't think targeting anything that I have really does anything for starving Venom. Because they all require rescue aces to be on the field in order for their effects to do anything. And I think the only thing that actually does something 
that doesn't require another Rescue Ace is Effect Veiler, but Effect Veiler does nothing on field. Okay, my turn, I draw. Oh. Hello, top deck! That is a top deck and a half. What do I have in my graveyard? I have this. I'll just activate half of a pot of greed. I play pot of greed! I play pot of greed! It is half of a pot of greed. It's a pot of grit. How's it doing? Been a while, man. Onyx, welcome back to the stream. I'm currently fighting against the timer. Because this deck is a lot more combo heavy than I initially thought it was. I was like, oh no, no, this deck doesn't infinitely special summon. What are you, crazy? No, this card infinitely sets. <laughs> this deck infinitely sets, and then so I'm so, and then, so that's how I'm just constantly fighting against a timer. Um, I could... I mean, I, I could go into Lynx, just to make more space. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This one, that one, and... Afterwards, I'll Link away the Hydrant. No, do not activate Poplar, I need the space. And... You know, or... Or I can go into Elf, because it's not banned for some reason. And I'll bring back the IP. And go into a not Avermax. I'll go into Boral Sword because I haven't- oh wait, no. Oh, that's right, this can't go into- oops. Oops, I forgot. It, it can't- it can't go into a Link Summon to turn it Summon. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Wait, I should not have summoned that. No, it's fine. It's fine, I'll activate this in the er in perm zone. I'm currently panicking. Um... Go! Attack! Before something goes horribly wrong! Go! My 800 attack beat stick! You mind I duel of messing around with verse, uh, V souls in a sub deck? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Alright. Yeah, I mean, the, the room is up right now. You can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, there's the ID. Um, wait, why can I not activate turbulence? Oh, it's because I have nothing. Ooh. Um, 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 um. Oh no, I might lose my timeout. I think I might lose my timeout, actually. Why does this take so long to set? Why does this take so long? Why can't I just set all of these, like, immediately? And quickly! Oh god! <laughs> what is this? This effect takes so long to get off. You can't just like select all of them at once. You have to select one at a time. That was close. That was really close. That was ridiculously close. Okay, now quickly I'm going to activate an Ash Blossom. Okay, there's the, uh, Pendulum Summon. There's another one of that thing, and then... I'm going to activate this, and I'll flip this down.
Wait, I, I should have activated IP. Oops. Oops. I'm panicking because I only have 22 seconds left in here. Um, wait, I can just get it back. <laughs> wait a second! Wait a second! <laughs> oh, hello, I think! <laughs> and I think... I I'm not gonna do anything fancy, I'm just gonna go into a Boral Sword. Um... Wait... Oh... Uh, 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 wh why am I allowed not allowed to go into Boral Sword? Okay, that's kind of strange, but okay. I don't have... I don't think I have the time to question it. And I'll activate Extinguish to uh, get rid of this thing. No, don't activate anything else. And now I think I just attack normally like a normal person before something goes horribly wrong. I, I don't like this deck. It's just that using the field spell in conjunction with turbulence takes like 30 seconds minimum just to get these two effects off. Right, GG. If I was smarter... I would bump up the, uh, the timer, but I'm not. Um, okay, so I'm assuming this one. Table three, okay. I did recently finish watching, um, well, I'm, I originally started watching Demon Slayer, because, um, the main character for Demon Slayer. His Japanese voice actor also voices Gokuto from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, and I like really like his voice. And I've actually, I've finally caught up on Demon Slayer now. And I'm just like waiting for more of it to come out. Dang it! Every time, this is like the third time I've drawn this thing. And this thing in the same opening hand. Like, I do really like Gakuto's voice actor. He's like, he can go from extremely goofy to extremely serious. Like, sometimes in the same sentence. Vanquisher the Dwayne Johnson, I see. And then, so after Demon Slayer, I started watching Gundam Wing. But like, to be perfectly honest, I actually might just drop the uh, Gundam Wing. Because like, I think Gundam Wing, like, I, I like Gundams, but the anime, I think it has a too many characters problem, of which it's, like, trying to juggle, like, six or seven different characters. And so it's making it really difficult to follow, so I might actually have, just have to drop it. Okay, so you only have, uh, two cards in your hand, so your pop effect of Caesar of Mr. Salad Boy isn't able to go off. Okay, first of all, activate Reinforcement of the Army. And I'll grab me an Airlifter. And I'll Shokan the Airlifter. I break her, don't worry. Ooh. And then I'll add an EMERGENCY! Any card that has an exclamation mark on it, you have to yell it, otherwise it doesn't count. Um, okay. I actually do have, like, a bunch of these. Um, how do I special summon? Like, does this do anything when it's special summoned? No, this doesn't do anything when it's special summoned. Um... I think, in this case, I have to summon the Hydrant. And... I shall... Tribute the Hydrant that's already in my hand. And then I'll activate the Hydrant. And... Uh... 
What do you think? During the main phase, you can turn on the original monsters with this hand. Earth is using a few. Okay. So, I think I add the fire attacker because Vanquish Souls really like adding stuff to the hand. And I'll activate the turbulence and I'll banish these two. Yo! Funny Hydra Fire Truck Man! Go! Funny Flying Fire Truck Man! And I'll set a bunch of stuff on the field. Preferably that's not in the same zone as your panther lady thing. Panthera. Perhaps I should have set something else. Oh well. The thing is with like Vanquish Souls, Vanquish Souls are really good against control decks that specifically have to target. Um. Okay. I think I just attack normally here. After I activate REINFORCE! I activate REINFORCE! Why, Rick, you need not worry. That's unfortunate. And I'll activate this Preventer to banish this. Uh, and then I think I just attack normally now. Go! Attack the- wait. Oh. I, uh, did not count. I- I- I don't know, some part of my brain thought, oh, it's a- it's a monster. Monsters barely have any defense these days. It literally doesn't matter. Little did I know, it actually literally did matter. Okay, then I just think I just end my turn here. I want to rematch, man. Sure I can rematch you. Well, uh, if there's anyone new that I haven't dueled yet, oh no. Oh no! Uh. Ow. If this card, you can target one of your banish. Oh! Oh, this. The okay, Preventer does a crap ton. Oh, it's a good thing I banished my <laughs> Hydrate earlier. <laughs> Okay, Preventer is actually ridiculously good. Um, and I'll activate Rescue! Dang, Preventer's crazy. And I'll activate Alert! And I guess I'll just... I don't know, grab this thing. And I'll just summon this thing to attack normally. Go! Attack! My 1700 vanilla attack monster! Alright, GG, I guess. <laughs> I know how it feels. I know how it feels to break. But, uh, yeah, if, um, if anyone new wants to duel me, I'll duel them first. But if there's, uh, no one new that wants to duel me, I can, uh, duel you again. Oh, yeah, so I did check out the new Tachyon Dragon cards. And I'm like, I, I don't think the new Tachyon Dragon cards will actually, like, they're not really gonna solve the deck's issue of which you need to get to Tachyon Dragon first and it needs more extenders and it needs more consistency. But they did give you a way to search out the uh, counter trap, which is pretty good. But I still don't, I don't think it's going to be 
good enough, but I think it's going to be pretty fun regardless. But more than that, I want I want the Raid Raptor cards to get into Master Duel, but we're probably not going to have them for a while. Considering that there's like a crap ton of stuff that we still need to get first. Unless Konami is just like, oh, anime deck, let's just put it in the Master Duel. Because, you know, reasons. Dang it! This is like the fourth or fifth time in a row that I've drawn both of these in the opening hand. I mean, it's probably fine. But it's still pretty annoying. You're gonna hate my sub deck, man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, it's your turn, you can add one blah, 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 from your shaped hand. Okay. Um. I think I, I'm just gonna activate this impulse immediately. Because I can. Oh no, the, my blossom has been ashed. It's fine, it beats you have one less extender. Oh no, the thing is right, like, if this is a pure, like, pure cash tier decks, like, their main point is just banishing stuff from their extra deck. And, uh, well, they banish from the main deck as well, but they're mostly known for banishing from the extra deck. However, Rescue Ace actually doesn't care about their main deck at all, their extra deck at all, and... This deck has like an in archetype way to just get stuff that's been banished. It's not just drew my sub engine. Oh no. But even if like you get the level seven or the rank seven, the cash tier was his face. I actually, I actually really don't care about my, uh, extra deck at all. <laughs> Band cash tier and snake guy, but then I won't be able to use my fire engine deck. Actually, this deck is still, like, it basically, with rescue, I, I, I'm sorry, with rescue? Is it rescue? Or is it emergency? I think it's emergency! This deck actually doesn't really need the Dio's Bellstar engine that much, but it's still nice. However, the, despite the fact that I keep drawing these cards in my opening hands is actually really annoying. Never played Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is... Very, very difficult to shut down. However, I did play, um, I did manage to get off, uh, Blackwing full combo. Three copies of Blackwing Assault Dragon on the field, turn one, playing against a Snake Eyes player, and it was glorious. Okay, I did not need that card, but thank you for that. Anyways, Konami, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, so first of all, I'm going to just special summon this, I keep drawing these in my opening. I mean, like, drawing, uh, Black Witch, 
drawing the Abel star is really good, but I also keep drawing the Poplar, which is actually quite annoying. I guess in this case, it is pretty good, considering that the Abel star gets you, like, your stuff. And in order to use your stuff, you need to, like, get rid of something from your field. This is unashable because uh thank you, Konami. Uh okay. So in this case I'm going to called by the unicorn that's already in your grave. I actually got it! I actually got Schrodinger's call by the grave. It finally decides to exist. Um, and then I'll activate the original Sinful Spoils to get rid of my Poplar. And I'll summon a Fire Hydrant on legs. Which allows me to summon whatever this is. I think this is a Saw Transformer Autobot thing. Dang it! I love going second in the going first deck. It's so balanced. Did I normal summon that turn? I don't think I actually normal summoned. Um, okay. In that case... I banish these two from my graveyard, and I'll summon a big fire truck, dude. And I'll activate the big fire truck in order to set literally everything. Actually, interestingly, it didn't actually matter that you uh, got rid of one of my spell trap zones, because this only sets four anyways. Um, okay, let me think. Finish hard, sure you wanted to be the last. Do I have anything I can do with this? No, not really. And then I set this thing. And then I set this thing. And then I set this thing. And then I attack, and I summon Zeus. I summon Effect Monster Zeus. I actually don't know if this is how this- wait, why can I not activate this? Okay, that's kind of weird. I'm gonna activate this. Oh wait, yeah, I, I probably should have just- I, I probably should have set other things. Because I don't actually have anything in my graveyard. Oops. Uh... Okay, I, I guess I just activate this. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm used enough with- I, I don't think I'm used to, to this deck enough to actually make informed decisions. Cause then I probably should- I probably should have just activated other stuff. Um, okay, what does this do? Turn adds to cashier trap, yeah, something, 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 okay. Um, I think I activate this. 
Wait. No, that's not how that works. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it this deck is basically useless without the Hydrant. I think I basically just lost because I, I read that alert was like, oh, you can add a rescue ace from your deck. No, that's not how this that's not how this card works. Yeah, I think I definitely need to just play this deck more because I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, control decks in general are actually quite difficult to pilot. It's like, it's difficult. Well, it's easy in the fact that you don't need to memorize a million bajillion combos. But it's, dif but it's difficult in the fact that you have to know what everything does. Not the card that I wanted, Konami. What does this do? Um, okay. So I'm gonna activate half of a pot of greed. This one. And then I activate this one. Hopefully Rescue Ace can save the awful meta. Actually, I think Rescue Ace is part of the awful meta. Because, like, Rescue Ace is basically uh, a control... Like, it it's... I want to say it's almost a stun deck. But it needs to, well, it needs to go first because that's just the nature of a stun deck. But it is almost a stun deck. So I'd say that Rescue Ace is actually part of the problem. Unfortunately, I do need to actually go first. Or at least I know that it was really good in like the physical card game. I don't know how much here because like Cards that can go either first or second are really, really good, but cards that can only go first and basically don't do anything if they go second uh, are, like, significantly worse. Um... wait... Wait, what? Why wasn't I able to? Okay. Dang it, Poplar, you had one job! Um, so I guess I'll just banish these. Poplar, you literally had one job! <laughs> Okay, I think I probably need more ways of getting the Hydrant. Oh, but that means that I need to craft more stuff. I don't want to craft more stuff because Konami refuses to give it to me. But I think I have to. Okay, in that case, I guess I probably should have just summoned the Hydrant. Because the Poplar apparently does nothing. Uh... Whose turn is it again? 
Excuse me, Bob, since it's my turn with the Xbox. And I guess I'll just activate this. And I guess I'll just summon this. I mean, this actually doesn't do anything. Um, I mean, like, none of this does anything with the Hydrant. I, I guess I guess I just need more ways of getting to the Hydrant. Well, I do have this, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, Cause like, it just does get me to the Hydrant, but I need the Hydrant in order to activate it. Um, okay. So I guess what I'll do now is I summon this Poplar. There's way too many words in the field for me to read, so I'm not gonna bother reading it. Thanks, thanks, Konami. <laughs> um, and I guess... I go into... And wait, why can I not target this? Carbon fire one is. Uh, you can target one fire monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what am I doing? Huh? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> uh, I don't really know. Oh, wait, why is this in the spell traps? I activated Poplar's effect by accident. Oh, wait, I can summon this. That is actually really funny. I'm just gonna summon this because I think it's funny. I don't think it's- it's actually not going- it's not gonna do anything, but I'm just gonna summon this because I think it's funny. Um... And then... Do I have any Link 3? Oh wait, no, I do. No, these don't do anything, actually. Um... Yeah, these don't actually do anything. I guess I'll just attack like a normal person. Wait. I should have activated this. Then I'd have... Then I would have room for a Link 4. Oops. Um... Okay, I, I guess I just attack. Okay, apparently I cannot attack. Yeah, I, I get. I think I just need more room for a hydrant. I guess I'll just summon this. And then I guess this does a thing, I don't know. Actually, if I just done this in main phase one, it would have been a lot easier. But I didn't, because I'm dumb. Um I don't I don't know this thing. Read my link? No, I don't want to. There's way too much stuff to read. I actually do, like, there are some games of which I just don't read anything because I'm too lazy. Um, can I do anything right now? Kind of. 
Yeah, if I had just done this in main phase one, then this would have been a... Then I would have been able to do something, but I can't because I'm dumb. Oh well. Go access to Code Talker, I guess. It's really the first line. That is one too many lines, my friend. <laughs> um... I guess I destroy... I don't... I actually don't have time to read anymore. <laughs> it's like, other times, I real. I ask... Other times, I also just don't have time to read. Because the timer... <laughs> Are you finding Rescue Ace fun so far? Uh, I think I, I need to learn it more. I need- I really need to learn this deck more, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um... I guess I activate this one? It's like, part of it is- learning is really hard when you're under the time limit. And I guess I just summon this one. And I'll tribute this one because it doesn't do anything anymore. this. Oh, I need to control another rescue ace. Dang it. Okay, yeah, in this case, this card actually does nothing. Okay, in that case, I should have just kept it. Either kept it or summoned something else, because this doesn't actually do anything right now. I think I'm just dead, because... I don't know what my own cards do. Also, I don't have enough time to deliberate anything anymore. I kind of wish... I, I kind of wish Rescue allowed you, or um, I kind of wish Emergency allowed you to special summon in either attack or defense. It was like... Yeah, I think, I still think this deck is still, uh, still kind of limiting. Or it's like, you need to have like a crap ton of stuff. Otherwise your deck just doesn't work. I, I guess I'll just activate this. Oh wait, no, you can still attack over there. Dang it! Oh wait, no. It also does another thing. I forgot. Okay. Uh... Wait, what? Okay, so this does a thing. I mean, it's not actually able to do a thing a thing, but I, I could summon this guy, I guess. And... Oh, I don't have enough time yet! Dang it! I, I literally do not have time. Um, 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 I don't know this one. Dang it! Ah, control decks are so difficult to pilot because there's like, no, there's literally no time to deliberate. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I need more, I think I need more ways of getting to a hydrant. So I think I do have to get rid of some stuff. Um... Everything I have is dedicated to getting to Hydrant, though. Maybe I get rid of one of these, because they don't actually do anything. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of this, and I add another Emergency. Oh, that means I have to craft another Emergency! Or, hmm. Or I can get another Bonfire. Small World? I actually think I actually think bonfire and emergency is better in this situation. Also, because I don't know what bonfire, I, I don't know what bonfire is supposed to do. 
I don't think anyone knows what bond what or I don't I don't think anyone knows how to successfully resolve small world. So I don't actually know the what I'm supposed to be bridging with it. Um Okay. So I'm thinking another either another copy of Emergency or maybe another copy of Bonfire. Like Bonfire will probably be more useful in because I can put it in other decks. But Emergency, I can search it. And it's also another uh it, it's another rescue ace name. I've been uh, small world banish ash blossom snake eyes grab uh, rescue ace. I guess, but that would require me having a re uh, an ash blossom in the hand. So I think like emergency or bonfire would just be better because it's a one card combo. Bonfire can also get you to snake eyes ash. Yeah, that's the main reason why I have it in here. I've been seeing it happening. I would go full cash comp with my sub deck and at least one V-Souls card. Dang. Meanwhile, I can't draw properly. <laughs> um, I don't really want to add one for one, though. Like, I could add one for one, but I don't really want to. Because it requires me to get rid of a monster, and I'm running a crap ton of spell traps in my, um, in my deck. I'll just, just make another bonfire, because it'll probably be more useful later. Because I can use this in, like, multiple different decks. So I, I'll probably... I probably have to make an, another bonfire at some point. Unless if Konami decides to ban it, because, you know, reasons. Okay, so if no one else wants to duel me, I guess I'll uh, go back to ranked. Let me just get another drink of water. I need to drink more water. Okay, I guess I'll just go back to ranked for now. And if uh, anyone else wants to duel me, they can just say so in the chat. The thing is, I'm looking at like IRL decks that use um, Rescue Ace. And it's actually really hard to transfer it over to Master Duel, because, like, there's multiple cards in the Rescue Ace deck that are just banned, so I don't actually know the correct ratios. It's actually really difficult to um, experiment to see what the correct ratio is, because everything is extremely expensive. Well, then again, it is cheaper than IRL. IRL costs you an arm and a leg. But not as much as Magic the Gathering. Thanks, Wizards of the Coast. We were not- I used to have Duel Academy on my deck. Oh. That's a card. I actually don't remember what Duel Academy does. Uh, so I guess I grab the EMERGENCY! And I'll grab... Um... A hydrant. And I guess I tribute this airlifter in my hand. Because I would want this airlifter. I would like to have this airlifter on my field. Wanna try out uh I low-key wanna try out rescue ace. How many URs are there? Uh well there's this one which you need three copies of. There's this one which I'm only running two copies of. And there's a bunch of support. Hold on, let me let me actually think first. Um, grab this one. No, I'll grab this one. And there's a whole bunch of like support cards that you need as well. So I mean, the good news is that you don't really need a whole lot of like. You, you don't really need your extra deck, you can just put whatever. The only thing you really need in your extra deck is probably uh, the Promethean Princess. And maybe like a Hita. And maybe Link Karibo or something you can use to get rid of... Uh, to put the Fire Hydrant into your graveyard. But that's basically it, you can just put whatever you want in the extra deck.
and I'll put this one in here. And I'll put this one in here. Also, you need to click very quickly. Uh, okay, do I have anything else? I think what I'll do is... No, I can't actually do that. Uh, I think I made the wrong choice. I should not have added the Rescue Ace Preventer to my hand. Like how we're able to smack access codes. Unfortunately, I think yours had like 200 more attack. If you think about it, people bear actually barely summon access code anymore these days. Oh no. Uh, this is probably fine. And you won the Bell Star Monster from your hand. Um, I'm just gonna ash this because I can't actually ash. Once the Bell Star actually comes onto the field, Ash Blossom does nothing to it. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I should not have put Preventer in here. I should have added something else instead. Oh well. Okay, there's the Poplar. Well, there is his normal summon! I can negate this. Okay. First, I'm gonna activate this, then I'm going to chain my trap card because my because the monster is a when effect while the trap card can just like be used whenever enjoy your level one 700 attack vanilla beat stick <laughs> yeah i mean like rescue ace is generally really good it's just that it it's very difficult to use going second. That's why it's um, it's meta. It's meta IRL, but in Master Rule, where you can only play best of ones, it's significantly less good. What's for my favorite deck so far? My favorite deck has consistently been Speed Raids. However, I do quite like Red Dragon Archfiend. However, however, I am admittedly very biased towards anything that involves the name Jack Atlas. There's also King Axis Code, King of Royal Rares, and Mightiest of the Codes by 200 Attack. Oh, hello, Bonfire, and the thing I want to get using Bonfire. And I have two copies of my Rescue Ace Preventer. Isn't that great? Yay! Uh, yeah, that's, that's why I only have two copies of Preventer in here. It's, you, you basically don't want to open this card. Uh, well, this card doesn't do anything unless you have other Rescue Aces in the graveyard, of which I do not, because Konami hates me. Well, then again, I can send one copy of Preventer to the graveyard using the Abel Star. So it's not the end of the world. However, I'm playing against generators and I actually don't remember what generators do. And for next are Eldritch and Paleozoic. Ooh. Oh, hello! A uh, card that I don't actually need right now. Hello, card that requires a fire hydrant. That's way too many words. I don't want to read this. Okay, so it, it does stuff. Gotcha. I actually don't have time to read this. If that last duel had anything to say about it, I actually do not have time to read this because I have to shotgun all my cards as fast as I can. My favorite deck is still Cold Talker. Ooh. But why? But why though? But why? 
You just happen to also have the Ash Blossom, the, the Max C. You know what, it's probably fine. I think I'm dead either way. So I think I just have to shotgun everything because all of my entire hand is incredibly clunky. Poplar to be on my field again, though? That's, like, the question, because I can use this Diabella Star to send the Poplar to my graveyard for my field, or I can use it to send another Preventer. I think I'd rather send another Preventer. I have my Code Chakra deck IRL. I just need to get them hollow. Ooh. I actually, I have a Code Chakra deck uh, IRL as well. I rarely use it though because uh, according to Konami, there are no such thing as locals. There are no hot locals near my area. The internet lied. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that he's negating the fire engine instead of the hydrant. Did I normal summon yet? I don't know what he's doing, but I think I should probably activate this before he gets another negate out. And I'll add a copy of Airlifter to my hand. Did this say negate and destroy, or did it just say destroy, or did it just say negate? Okay, negates and destroy. That is actually good for me because I can use Preventer now. Um... Do I want to use this though? No, I don't think I want to use that because I, I want to normal summon this. Okay, I'll just send this to the graveyard. I don't actually need it. Okay, in that case, I actually did need Popular. But why? But why, though? Why do you have infinite answers? Okay, in that case, yeah, I definitely need more ways of getting Fire Hydrant. Or maybe I should have done something first and then used the Fire Hydrant. That way, you can't target it. Um, in that case, I'll just summon this thing. And I guess I add an emergency. And... I guess I activate an emer emergency. This thing is though, like, even if I activate an emergency, it does nothing. It, it really doesn't do anything if Hydrant isn't on the field. And Hydrant is not on the field, therefore I cannot use my deck. Thank you, Konami. Uh, this deck needs to be stronger. Um, I guess I just have to get this so... Because I can get stuff to grab Hydrant back. And I guess I just tribute this. But why though? Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, this deck. Okay, I, I think I think this deck needs to be. I, I think there's probably some things that I can do to improve this deck because, like, I, I'm just not getting. Hydrant out. Um, I could add a copy of one for one. I think I'll add a copy of one for one. Uh, okay. To be perfectly honest, I'm probably just gonna get rid of a copy of this because I I rarely use it. And I'll just get a copy of. 
Why is every single card titled one for one? Why is every single card? How do you search for one for one, Konami? That's still not searching for one for one. One for one doesn't exist. Every card, every card is one for one, according to Konami. Um. Okay. I could get rid of a copy of Ash Blossom though, because to be perfectly honest, like I feel like Ash Blossom doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> it's like every time I get Ash Blossom, I like negate a search, and then it actually doesn't matter. I think it probably, in a best of three format, I probably don't need all- Oh, hello, Fire Hydrant, and also card that gets me Fire Hydrant, and also card that gets me Fire Hydrant. Ah! <laughs> okay, according to Konami, I have too much consistency. Make up your mind, Konami. Um, I can just go into Link Rebo though. I mean, I, I could just go into Link Rebo to get it into the graveyard because I base I need Hydrant and Turbulence on my field at the same time. But currently, my deck is not does not want me to play. <laughs> I mean, I only have two Ash and no Max C. Don't need Max C since we get Ashed. Exactly. My Poplar did absolutely nothing because I already I drew the thing that the Poplar gets. And I guess I just have to summon the other copy of Hydrant. Um, no, do not activate. Uh, how does this deck work, Konami? <laughs> I am not understanding how this deck works. I think I just have to surrender here. Hmm, no. Actually, no. Uh, this is gonna be really dumb. This is gonna be, like, really stupid, but I think I just have to link these two away. Because, like, I can probably get the Hydrant back next turn. It's just that I'm going to have a random IP on my field that's doing nothing. Wait, no it can't. Wait. Okay, yeah, banishing my two Hydrants doesn't actually do anything. I think I, I, think I just have to surrender, because... Apparently, I have too many ways of getting to Hydrant! Thanks! Thanks for that, Konami! <laughs> Uh, okay. So now I need more Rescue Ace names, so I guess I just have to get rid of an Ash Blossom. I don't really want to, but I guess I just have to get rid of it. And I guess I just have to add another copy of that. And of course I go second because Konami hates me. <laughs> ah! Because like whenever I go second, I I draw normally, and or whenever I and whenever I go first, I just brick entirely. Okay, this this hand is not usable, Konami. Uh, Konami, excuse me, Konami, this hand is not currently not usable. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it's a good thing I just added one for- Oh, actually, no. One for one is not usable here. I think I just have to scoop again. Because, like, one for one... <sighs> hmm. Like, do I really have to get rid of one for one for another consistency card? Because, like, one for one, it gets me Hydrant, but I need a monster to get it. And, like, half of my deck is not monster. According to Konami, I have too many spell traps in my deck. According to Konami, I have too many traps. 
These three traps, they're way too many. I drew all of these in my opening hand. Um, and I, I don't want to add another emergency, though, because I, I don't want to make another emergency. It, like, if, if I know Konami, they're probably just going to nerf this deck anyways. Maybe I add... No, I think I just have to run the... I don't think there's anything I can do to make this deck more consistent that doesn't involve crafting another emergency. And I don't want to craft another one of those because I can't keep crafting a Konami. Stop. According to Konami, I have too many copies of Preventer in my in my deck. Ugh. That is actually ridiculous. That is actually really annoying. How I keep drawing my multiple copies. And yet, for some reason, Call by the Grave doesn't exist. Could I have drawn Call by the Grave instead, Konami? Is is that a isn't that a card that uh that exists, right? It's a card that exists. The thing is, I have a feeling that my opponent has access to Ash Blossom, so instead I'm gonna add the Impulse to my hand. That way, if he ashes my Bonfire line, I can just respond with an Impulse. But why though? But why though? Oh yeah, sure, he just happens to have both of these, because, you know, reasons. <laughs> I would like to play the game, Konami. Let me play the game so I can make my opponent not able to play the game. Does he have like another? Why do you have? Why do you have ugly answers? <laughs> okay, Mr. Bandit Keith. Mr. Bandit Keith disabling his dual disc. I see how it is. Um. Okay, fine. I. I I'll just. I guess I guess go into Link Karibo and just end my turn, because you know reasons. Uh, and I guess I'll just summon this as well. Because, you know, reasons! Because thank you, Konami, for... <laughs> for your amazing best of one game! <laughs> for allowing me to draw everything that is not called Carl by the Grave. Uh, can I activate the effect of this card yet? Okay. But why though? <laughs> what is this? What is this, Kodabi? <laughs> okay, I don't have enough extenders, is that it? Do I not have enough extenders, Kodabi? <laughs> what is this? Okay, fine. I guess I just have to craft another copy of Emergency. That actually feels really bad. Um... Because I, I just don't have enough extenders in here, apparently. Okay, I'll get rid of a copy of Max C, because let's be honest, like Max C... Max C isn't gonna show up anyways. Maxi never shows up when you want it, so you might as well just not have it in the deck. Dang it, and then now I'm not gonna have any crafting materials for the next set, though.
Okay, uh, I might be able to actually play the game now. <laughs> that's great. That's actually, I'm actually really annoyed right now. The fact that, like, my opponents always just somehow seem to have only outs. Um, okay. So, what I do here is... No, I probably should have just summoned the airlifter first. Oh well. Oh well, it's probably fine. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon this preventer here. And I'm going to tribute the airlifter in my hand. Ugh, I should I should have summoned it first. I'm dumb. And then now I think I summon the Hydrant. Yeah, I, I definitely should have added something else first. Oh well. And I'll grab the Turbulence. And I'll activate the Turbulence to banish these two. And I think I'll grab one of these. I, I really wish I could select all of these at once, though. It's actually really time-consuming to just grab all of these one by one. And then... I think I grab this. And I'll grab a re a reinforce as well. And I'll immediately grab uh, activate the alert in order to grab the impulse. And I'll set down something that is definitely called by the grave. And that's probably fine. Okay. Um, so I should have a bunch of answers for whatever my opponent's gonna do. Uh, I do have a Reinforce, I do have a Call by the Grave. Uh, my main thing that I want is this Impulse in my hand. So I can special- I can use the Field spell for next turn. But why though? But why? Actually, now that I think about it, Chaos Max Dragon... ...doesn't- really affect this deck at all anymore, because I can just use Reinforce. Um... I think... He's gonna Link Rebo this, I think. I think it'll probably just destroy this. No, wait, I can just flip this face down. I can just flip this face down and you can't do anything with it. That was your nor one normal summon, buddy! You have no more normal summons! Where is your Link Kribo now? Huh? Punk? Okay, uh... Oh, hello! Second copy of Snake Eyes Poplar.
I think before anything goes wrong, I'm gonna activate the hydrant and then see what to add. I don't really know what to add though. My opponent has some kind of response because his field is lighting up. If he has an Ash Blossom, then I can just chain the impulse to it. Um, and then I can just also just chain Call by the Grave to that. Oh, hello! In per that's that's not in the imperm zone. Okay, I don't know why he's targeting the preventer, but okay, I'm okay with this. I I'm somehow okay with this. And I'll grab the fire engine. No, I'll grab the airlifter because I want the airlifter to get the field spell. And I'll use the airlifter to grab me the HQ. And, and then I think I can just... I can probably just activate Reinforce because I can set it later. You know, I'll just activate the Reinforce now. And... I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna need to use the HQ, and I don't need to do anything right now. Actually, no. I'm going to activate the effective turbulence right now. I'm gonna return this, and no, I don't need to return that. I need to return this, that, that. Actually, no, I need to return all of these. Oh, hello, dear Bell Star. <laughs> and I'll set this over here because I already used this turn. So it doesn't matter if it gets negated. And I'll uh, do this because I can activate it right away. Wait, ooh, oh, ooh, I, okay, I guess I can't activate it now. Wait, this is not once per turn? I did not know that. Okay, that is kind of strange. I guess I'll just normal summon this and I'll just attack normally like a normal person. Go! Attack normally like a normal person. I probably should have just attacked with the hydrant. Oh well. Yeah, I definitely should have just attacked with the Hydrant. That would have been funnier. But what if I attack with the Hydrant now? But what if I just activate the Reinforce now? Attack! There we go. See, this deck is like pretty good when it pops off, but it's just when it doesn't pop off, when it doesn't get sit up, is it really struggles. I would like to not go second, please. That'd be very nice. Maybe I should just add some kaijus to this deck. Well, but kaijus, like, this this deck already has a consistency problems getting out the hydrant. And if I just add more, like, more kaijus, it's just gonna brick everything. Okay, a face down has been thrown. Oh, hello, Black Wings! I might be in trouble now. I, I might actually be in trouble now. But it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Why can I not activate Impulse? I, I would like to activate Impulse, Konami. My opponent has clearly activated multiple effects. When does the Impulse happen? I would like to activate Impulse, Konami. 
Can I activate impulse now? <laughs> Kunabi! Okay, impulse does not work. Impulse apparently does not work. Impulse is not a card that works. Okay, that's like... Uh, can I activate impulse now? Impulse? Can I act... Can I, can I activate... My opponent has clearly activated an effect. Can I activate impulse? Okay, impulse is, uh, currently bugged. Gotcha. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it, impulse! You don't do any... Okay, that's like one of the reasons why, like... Like... I got rid of three copies of Imp- I- everyone I see runs three copies of Impulse. Yeah, I, I'm really thinking that I should probably get rid of the Impulse. It, it doesn't do anything. Um... I need some more going second cards. What if I just add a Kaiju? So like technically the max C is the going second card, but the thing is, if I add a kaiju, I'm never gonna see the kaiju. And if I just do it in perm, and like basically, because I, if I go second, I'm never gonna see the kaiju, and if I go first, I'm always gonna see the kaiju. Add Kurikara. Unfortunately, I don't have that. I don't have... I've already used a bunch of crafting materials to make bonfire stuff. I really can't afford to add Kurikara. Also, you probably need like three copies of Kurikara. And she's never ever gonna show up. If you go second, she's never ever gonna show up. And if you go first, she's always gonna show up. That's just the nature of Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. Okay. This hand is borderline unplayable, actually. Um, I guess I just have to get the Bell Star and hope that I don't don't get ashed. And I'll summon this from my deck. I think I just have to activate this now. Um, okay, so I already normal summon- I did not normal summon yet. So, I add the Lifter. And then I can use the Lifter to get... EMERGENCY! And then I special summon Turbulence from the deck. And... I tribute the airlifter on my field because I caught. In, in case my fire hydrant gets destroyed, I would like a backup fire hydrant. Um, and then I set this. The thing is, though, do I want to set these two? I think I do as a thing. Okay. Uh, it's fine. I have one more space left. I think I can just shotgun this. Uh... Okay. Oh, but I want to activate Rescue next turn, though.
Okay, but what if I just activate this? And so I can get rid of it from my field, and then I can add... Preventer to my hand, and then I can activate the Preventer. Um, I don't need this emergency in my graveyard. And I can just put it here, and then now I can set everything and prepare to get Harpy Feather Dustered. <laughs> my opponent probably has- he probably has a Harpy's Feather Duster. Cause that's just how the duels have been going so far. I don't know what Infernoids do. <laughs> and, uh, by banishing one good, uh once per turn, you can target one spell trap on the field. This card cannot turn blah blah blah. You can turn one monster or something, something, something. Okay. But like, what if I put it face down? Oh, hello, Reinforce! And I think... I think I'll protect this one. And then, so this one's gonna get destroyed. This one's gonna get destroyed, which means that I'll be able to activate the effect of Turbulence to pop whatever this thing is. Parchalachvachva. This is what this card is called. So apparently there's like something going on, like outside my room right now. I I apologize if uh, you can hear it. Okay, so that's his normal summon. Just turn, come attack, negate it. Okay, so I'll just contain, contain. It has an exclamation mark, so I have to yell it. Those are the rules. I don't make them. I just follow them. He thought he could attack the fire hydrant. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him go! Yeah! It's actually like really funny. You could tell that people don't read because they attempt to attack the hydrant. Including me. I also attempt to attack the hydrant. I also do not read. Okay, I guess I'm going second, which is not good for me. I'm thinking maybe I should just get rid of all copies of Max C and replace them all. Okay, I cannot interact with my, my opponent turn one. Thank you for that, Konami. Um, it's like maybe I should just get rid of all copies of Max C and just replace them with Ash Blossom. Uh, but they, I didn't draw Ash Blossom or Max C this turn. Royal Magical Library- Oh, oh, this is an Exodia deck. Dang it! Dang it, Konami! <laughs> Dang it! Why do you have to have Exodia exist? Stop making Exodia exist, Konami. Oh, sure, you just happen to draw all of your draw cards in Royal Magical Library. Yeah, sure, that makes perfect sense. Oh, why do you do this, Konami? Why do you do this to me? I, I love Cardigans. I, I love Cardians. They're amazing. Yay, Cardians. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's like... Royal Magical Library is the sackiest sack of sacks that I've ever seen. It's like... If your opponent just happens to have Royal Magical Library and if your just opponent just happens to draw it, 
they basically just draw their entire deck and then just instantly lose turn zero because I love this game, it's so balanced. This game is so balanced. Oh, wait, I forgot to add more hand traps. Okay. Um Okay. Uh I I keep drawing the poplar, that's actually really bad. Well, I mean, I guess drawing the Poplar with the Diabell Star is pretty good in this instance. But normally just drawing the Poplar is actually not good. Okay, so I'll put this here so I can summon the Hydrant. I would like some other cards to go with this Hydrant, but my deck is not giving them to me. Okay, so I think I'll act- so first I'll activate Sinful Spoils, and I'll send this Poplar to the graveyard. I'll summon the Snake Eyes that is not a Snake Eye- Rescue Ace Hydrant, my favorite Snake Eyes card. First of all, I think I'll activate this alert because I don't want my opponent to somehow imperm my hydrant. Um, and I'll add... No, I already have emergency in my hand, so I don't think it actually matters. Okay, so... But what if I add this anyway, and just add the field spell? I think I'll add this anyways, and then just add the field spell. So I'm gonna activate the airlifter, and to grab the field spell. And I'll use Hydrant to grab the Preventer. And I'll use EMERGENCY in order to summon the big fire engine thing. Are you winning, son? That's a good question. Is my opponent gonna let me win? He only has 9 cards in his extra deck and a 60 card deck, which definitely... If your opponent has a 60 card deck, it means that your opponent has definitely drawn exactly what they need. This is what Master Duel has taught me. <laughs> the moral of the story is if your opponent has a 60 card deck it means that they will always draw exactly what they need they will always draw their one of nibiru if from their 60 card deck they have a nine card extra deck even even better their draws are even stronger all 60 cards are the grass that looks greener until proven otherwise. It's Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's grass that looks greener. Except unlike Call by the Grave, it has been proven to exist. Um, I don't actually need to activate the HQ now. So I think I'll just keep it in my hand. Hmm. I think I'll just keep it in my hand. Yeah, the, the rest- the field spell doesn't actually do anything in this instance. Because I don't have enough rescue ace cards in my graveyard. Gonna throw out, throw out a Gurse, some sort of stun deck. Guess I can type today. That's okay. I can't type most days either. Even using a regular keyboard, okay. If I had a nickel for every time my opponent would play, um, contain. If I had a nickel. For every time my opponent played Brick Eyes this stream, 
I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice in Platinum Ring. Is it isn't the weird part isn't that it happened twice. The weird part is that it happened twice in Platinum. Brick eyes of this economy. Awesome now again. <laughs> Let's go! Using the fire engine deck. Uh I'll activate this. All these Yugi's and their Hold on. There we go. I finally remembered that I have that sound effect. Decks top decking all their garbage cards. Honestly, it does feel like that. Uh, I'll summon the airlifter. And I'll activate the airlifter. I could just I, I think I'll just activate the re the extinguish. Because I can. Because I can just get extinguish back. Like just next turn. <laughs> so it doesn't actually matter that I have it. It doesn't actually matter that I use it. Because I can just easily get it. Emergency! Then I'll activate the HQ and just get literally everything back because I can. It is still super slow. <laughs> It's still super slow, the fact that you have to like choose every single individual thing. Uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to activate the Reinforce in case something goes horribly wrong. In case like, I get Ash Blossom. You know what's funny is I think if I use the Reinforce on the Turbulence, I think it's now immune from Ash Blossom. Let's go. I have summoned all of my cards in my spell trap zone. I still I still don't know what to get rid of for like going second cards. Like I want to add more to going second cards, but at the same time, like adding more going second cards makes my going first turns not as good. I could get rid of a copy of Poplar, but then I'd basically just always draw my only copy of Poplar. I mean, really? Really, the more... The best thing to do is probably cut a copy of Hydrant, because you don't really want to normal summon Hydrant anyways. But at the same time, I don't... I, I have three copies of Hydrant, and they're all URs, and I don't want to get rid of them. Curb can be Ash, to my knowledge, since setting five patches Ash's activation conditions. Oh yeah, it does. Let's go, card design. <laughs> Triple attacks, talent, or thrust. I could get those. But if I did, I would only draw them going first. Because my luck hates me. Okay, I have Impulse. Uh, can I activate Impulse now? I would like to act- okay, uh, I guess I'm not activating Impulse. What is man's playing? Uh, should I be- should I be concerned that he set two pass? Well, his field is lighting up, so he does have uh, hopefully this isn't an Imperm, because if it's a Hand Trap, I can activate Impulse. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I can't actually do anything. This is actually really bad. <laughs> uh... I guess I'll add the fire engine. Of course he has no response. Uh, boy. Uh, 
Uh, this is actually really bad. Uh, hmm. I... I mean, I could put the Hydrant into the graveyard by summoning Link Karibo in order to get the Preventer out, but then I won't have access to these things. So I think I just have to set to and end my turn. Because my opponent refuses to do anything, and my deck is refusing to give me any usable cards. But why, though? But why? It just also happens to have the lightning storm and also nothing in his... What is this, Konami? Mr. Bandit... Alright, Mr. Bandit Keith. Oh, hello, Bo Okay, now I can finally play the game. Let's go. Uh, first of all... Before something goes horribly wrong, I'm going to activate the Hydrant again. And I'm going to grab the air... Okay, my opponent's field did not light up, which is good for me. And I'm just gonna activate the Bonfire. And I'll grab the Poplar, and the Poplar is going to get me to another Fire Hydrant that I actually don't need. But my Poplar is going to get me to my Link material. That's what it's gonna do. Why is this field suddenly lighting up? Should I be concerned? Uh, no, do not activate. And I guess I'll activate Fire Engine as well. And... I will normal summon the airlifter. What the heck frame rates? What the frames, Konami? And... I'll add the fields. I don't actually need emergency because I have turbulence already. Um, maybe I should have. Oh well, whatever. And I think I'll just link away the hydrant. First off, I'll go into Link Karibo in case I want to summon access code later down the line. And if he has an Ibiru, I can just summon the Turbulence or the Preventer and just like kill everything. And I'll also summon the IP because I can. Maybe I should not have summoned the IP, oh well. I'm getting a feeling the back row is a judgment. Yeah, so am I! How- if he does- if it is a judgment, I can just like... If it is a judgment, I can just get over it. Because I do have a, more options in my hand. All I need is a bunch of rescue ace. Oh, it is a judgment. Old man says no. Too bad. I have more. He doesn't. He needs multiple old mans. Uh, okay. So first of all, I'll activate the Turbulence. And I'll banish this card. No, I'll banish these two. Because I can easily just get him back using the HQ. It, it actually doesn't matter. And... I'll summon the Preventer as well. I think I probably should have activated this first. Oh well. And I'll banish... So I'll just banish this one.
And I'll activate the HQ to get me all of my stuff back. And I'll activate this again. And I'll set all of my stuff. The thing is, right, if he if he has another way of getting rid of all my back row, my preventer can just get my back row back. And... I'll grab an alert. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the alert. I don't, I don't actually need the alert. Maybe I should just grab something else. Oh well. Um... And I guess I'll grab a copy of this so that I can just summon it when I summon an impulse. Wait a second. Oh, I can't activate it because I already used it this turn. Dang it. Dang it, Kodabi. What the Gradle? Um, I mean, I can also- I can actually just attack over this. I don't actually need- I don't actually need my Turbulence anymore because I- I got all my spell traps already. Uh, is there anything else I can do? No. Okay. Gradle's base, and I can, like, next turn... Okay, that's probably my mistake. I probably should have just... I had a feeling that he was running a super annoying deck, so I probably should have just saved my Reinforce for whatever this was. I was like... I, I was being suspicious because he just wasn't doing anything. And he just set a monster. But why, though? But why? Wait, why wasn't I able to activate Impulse? When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field... Oh, it's because it's in the graveyard. Dang it! Dang it, Kodabi! <laughs> why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this, Konami? Um, I don't know what he's doing. So, before something goes horribly wrong, I'm gonna activate my Reinforce. Uh, okay, I, I guess I'm not active. Dang it! I forgot! Reinforce doesn't set traps! It only sets spells! Okay, that's fine. My Preventer can set traps. Okay, I definitely should not have used Reinforce. Oops. What the heck am I look- What the Gradle Galaxy? Um... Okay. I guess I activate this. And I guess I can summon another copy of Turbulence. And I guess I can also summon a copy of Fire Engine. Maybe I should have used Preventer. 
to just flip this face down in case he's like link summoning something. It's probably what I should have done. Oh well. Yeah, let's go! What the heck kind of deck am I looking at? Is this platinum? <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? Gradle Galaxy? What the? Gradle Galaxy Eyes? Oh wait, you know, oh actually he was running Skill Drain. Uh, I don't feel bad for him anymore. Yeah, 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 it's a good, yeah, yeah, it, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a good thing that he lost. It's a good thing that he lost, because you should never feel sorry for, if you, if, never feel sorry for your opponent. For all you know, they're running a random copy of Skill Drain that they'll, they'll somehow always draw. Stop giving me Poplar, please. <laughs> Anything that is not named Called by the Grave, yet has the same chance of being drawn as Called by the Grave, is always going to show up in my opening hand. Okay, that's an Ash Blossom that is actually fine, I think. Thousand years of opening poplar for thee. Just add a thousand. Go on! Add the thousand more years. It does nothing when I already have a million. <laughs> um. Okay. Could we get the emergency. Think. I think I normal summon the poplar. I'm, I'm gonna leave you losing out on my normal summon, but I think I have to do this. Go! Hydrant, my favorite Snake Eyes deck. And then... I don't want this to get imperm though. Well, no. If he had an imperm, he would have used it. So I don't think he has an imperm. Um, I don't have a normal summon anymore. So what I can do is I can probably grab the airlifter into my hand and tribute it and then just get it back. But first, I'm gonna activate half of a pot of greed. I play pot of gr. I play pot of gr. Oh, hello, <laughs> dear Bell Star. Uh, mm, I don't actually need you right now. Thanks for uh, showing up, though. I mean, the Bell Star isn't that bad. Like, if my opponent somehow gets rid of my hydrant, then I can get it back. Using the Bell Star, but I don't really need it right now. Um, and I'll tribute this Lifter in my hand so I can get it back with Alert. Wait. No, that's not how that works. Wait, no, that is how that works. Okay. So I can get it back with the other card, with Rescue. I'm sorry, to get it back with RESCUE! Why, why do, why do I scream everything? I literally just spent the entirety of yesterday screaming my head off, and I'm doing it again. Um, and then I activate this rescue, because I want this airlifter so I can grab the field spell. I'm not gonna activate the field spell yet, I just want it in my hand. And 
and I'll throw down this face down and I'll activate Preventer to uh, banish this emergency because I don't need it. And then I have a full field. I have almost a full field. The shield to build this deck, testing out now. Ooh. I hope you have better luck getting to your hydrant than I do. <laughs> It's like, the tricky part is getting the Hydrant, but once you get Hydrant and Turbulence on the field, then it's very difficult for your opponent to out you, unless if they're running Saki one-ofs, which they probably will, which they will always draw. Sea Crush Wyvern! Sea Crush Wyvern! No problem, I have Kurikara. I hope you have uh, better luck in drawing Kurikara than I have in drawing Called by the Grave. ABC, let's go. The thing is though, like, oh, this, this is this is an this isn't an Ace BC deck. This is a Synchron deck. This is a Synchron featuring Sea Crush Wyvern. Um, I mean, I can cont I can contain this. Discard some from your you just one union monster from your hand. First game I got her in my opening hand. Dang. You have infinitely better luck than I do. Then again, what is infinitely times negative zero? He just happens to have like multiple Sea Crush Wyverns in his hand. Contain! Contain! I probably should have used it something to. F I, I probably should have just flipped something face down. Oh well. Zero, also zero, can't be negative. Tell that to my luck stat. My luck stat constantly divides by negative zero. It has the ability to end worlds, it just chooses not to. Um, okay. What the Sea Crush Wyvern Super Heavy Samurai Ancient Fairy Dragon? Uh, I'm going to flip this face down. I don't like it. Go away. No level 5 for you. Then again... I th maybe he was trying to go into a level 8, and then he just summoned that. He just summoned it, thinking that he could go into a level 8, but no, you're not allowed to go to a level 8, because this one... I have contained your ancient fairy dragon. Oh, hello, Impulse. You would have been significantly more useful last turn. Uh, okay. I don't think I have to worry about any of these. So first of all, I'll activate the effect of Hydrant before something goes horribly wrong. And I'll add a copy of the fire engine. Contained. Contained! I like I like contained. I, I don't like I, I, unless if I yell it for too much, which I am now. Which then I become sad. Okay. So first of all, I'll activate the effect of EXTINGUISH to get rid of this ancient fairy dragon. Get out of here, no one likes you. You don't have a real deck. Konami refuses to give Luna her own deck. And I'll activate REINFORCE! And... I'll, add a I'll activate a copy of ALERT in order to add an airlifter. I mean, I already have all the pieces. I don't actually need anything else. So, yeah, I'll just activate HQ now. Um, this one, this one, this one, and... 
this one. Oh, hello, emergency. And before something else goes horribly wrong, I'm going to set literally everything. Reinforce seemingly does nothing, but I actually quite like it. I think it's funny. And I'll just turn everything into attack position. And um, I, I guess I'll just summon an airlifter because I can. I, I could also go... Maybe I should have went into a Link Monster. No, no, I don't have time to go into a Link Monster. And then I'll extinguish this Sea Crush Wyvern. And then I'll attack like a normal person. Go! My 2200 attack beat stick. Oh boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> what did I get, Konami? What gems did you get me, Konami? Let me just pull from- Oh, I got gift box stuff. It's probably just legacy tickets. Oh, yeah! That's enough for uh, two packs. <laughs> uh. I actually do really want to- I do really like this wallpaper. I think it looks super cool. Unfortunately, I don't play any of these decks because they're insanely expensive, and also I don't have enough gems because Konami keeps releasing stuff. I want you to release stuff, Konami, but maybe not that fast. Oh, so I recently I just binged, like, I, I binged the entirety of the, um, the solo leveling, solo leveling Mawanga, ma, ma, Korean manga, Mawaha, ma. Pretend that I know the word for Korean manga. Pretend like I know what that is. But I just binged it in like about a week. It did have pretty. Manhua. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Manhua. <laughs> It's spelled in it's spelled in English characters. It's definitely spelled Manhoa. But um yeah, I recently just binged it in like about a week. Um I mean, it, the first part of it was pretty good, but then it started going off the rails towards the end of the anime. And I'm like Are you are you sure? Are you sure this isn't a Japanese JRPG? Because you do actually kill God. Let's go! Rescue Ace turn zero confirmed. Because you actually do kind of fight God in that Moahoa. But, I mean, like, I think, like, for me, like, Korean manga is kind of it's a bit more difficult for me to read because well just mainly because of the format because like usually um usually they're they're like like each page has like one panel and then so you're kind of just encouraged to just go through it really really fast without taking your time where unlike manga where um, each page has like a bunch of different panels. Although to be fair, the Korean the the uh, web to the web comics are usually colored, but again, like each page has basically has like one panel, and that's basically it. So I I find that I read it super fast. 
because I'm normally just like skipping everything. But why? But why though? It's a good thing called by the grave finally decides to exist. And then so now next on my list I have to go read the Demon Slayer manga. And I have to read the uh Moonlight Isekai manga. Which I, I think barely anyone has heard of because it's an isekai. And there's like a million bajillion of those. But I quite like it because it has uh, Gakuto's voice actor. Who also happens uh, to voice Tanjiro in Demon Slayer. <laughs> but I quite like it. Uh, okay. I have two copies. Okay. Uh, I... I would rather not have this one-for-one one in my hand, though. Having this one-for-one one in my hand is actually really bad. <laughs> I mean, is that the end of the world? I can't... I don't think I use my normal summon this turn, so I can just summon this airlifter. But yeah, this one-for-one one is basically a dead card now. I'm also like waiting for. I have this in my hand, right? Okay. I'm also waiting for more chapters of Eden Zero to come out. I really like Eden. I know a lot of people, it's not their like cup of tea, but for me, I really, really like anything that has to do with space fantasy. Like, not just space anime, most uh, space shows are just. Hard sci-fi, dystopian future, yeah, we're all gonna die, bleh. But the genre, the type of genre that I really like, I really like space fantasy, and Eden Zero is just like the perfect anime uh, for me. Both space fantasy and lots of fan service. I, I really like the way the mangaka draws. He's like, he draws so fast and all of his art is so clean. Whereas, like, I did see the, um, I, I did take a glance at the Demon Slayer manga, and it's like, it's not that it's bad or anything, it's just the art style that he uses isn't really my preference. I normally like something that looks a bit more clean than that. Um, I think, uh, I activate alert first because I want impulse in my hand. And I'll throw this down in the imperm zone. This is definitely an imperm! Don't question- well, it is technically an imp- actually, it is technically an imperm. <laughs> it, it is better imperm. And then, other than that, I'm also just, like, waiting. I mean, like, this is definitely a case of uh, which, yeah, the manga could definitely take your time. Because this, this guy is a super hard worker. And he did take a break from, like, Weekly Shonen Jump. Oh, hello, Teggy. Oh, hello, Sword Soul. Uh, but I I am basically waiting for more episodes, or for more chapters of Black Clover to come out. Okay, but what if... What, what if I contain this? Or, what, better yet, what if I just flip this face down? No, no, I think it's better if I contain this, because my opponent will now have an effect monster on the field, so he can no longer you do tanky things. Whereas, if I flip it face down, he will no longer have an effect monster on the field, so he'll still be able to do tanky things. That's not a Teddy card! I no longer feel bad for you! Okay, um, I should still be able to do things because Synchro Monsters require to be flip fate. They require to be face up in order to do things. I thought it was playing Sword Soul. No, he's playing something much worse. 
I actually, I actually have barely played against Super Heavies that much. Um, okay. He can't do anything with this. I mean, he can't do it. Well, actually, I should probably read this first. You can add one. If you control Super Heavy, same or a monster, you can... Blah, 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 Okay. Which means that I should probably, um, I should probably flip this face down. Why is everyone running a super every package now? The wagon semi really did number on those guys. Dang. Oh wait, this. Is, oh, so this. Actually, no. Super heavy. Sa I was about to say this might be a super heavy samurai engine. However, to be perfectly honest, uh, super heavy samurai is always an engine. It is always an engine. There, there's no point in playing pure super heavy samurai because pure super heavy samurai is really bad. <laughs> So therefore, the deck doesn't exist. It is simply an engine. Thanks. Thanks, Fateful Adventure. I wanted to play the Konosuba deck. But no, you had to make it into an engine. You have a dual roof open? It is. It is open. If you do want to duel me, uh, just say so right now. I probably should have closed it first. Oh well. Uh, okay. Extinguish, target one effect monster controls, destroy it. Um, I mean, I can just activate this now during the end phase. I mean, like, why not? If you do want to duel me, I can duel you directly after this. Perhaps I should have activated rescue first. Oh well! Oh, hello, airlifter. Hello, top deck. Sad. Sad. It's probably fine because I'm not actually planning on special summoning a whole lot this turn. I already have all my stuff out. He must have just drew that Maxi and it was like, Oh, hello, Maxi. You've been significantly more useful last turn. But he didn't. It's time to activate half of a pot of greed. I play pot of greed. I play pot of greed. His field is lighting up, which is kind of concerning to me. Uh, no, I'm not going to add poplar. And I'll just summon a lifter so it can get the field spell. How much defense did his super heavy samurai have? 1500. Darn, I can't attack over it with my fire hydrant. Um, I guess I'll add another copy of Turbulence in case something happens to mine. I'm not going to summon it this turn. I'm just going to hold on to it because I'm currently under the effects of Max C, which makes me very sad. Where? Um, and then I guess I'll activate Reinforce. just to use it, just so I can recycle it, use an HQ. And I'll activate HQ to bring everything back. I don't know what he has. You know the funny thing is, right? This deck, unironically, loses to Mirror Force. Oh, hello, dear Bellstar. Let's go! Your Max C did nothing! <laughs> okay, I can uh, go to the dual room again. Dual room is on bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, I'm assuming you're a Calc Crusader.
What the heck? I I completely forgot to drink water this entire stream. I am a professional streamer. I know how to drink water. I have this 40 ounce giant water bottle and I don't even use it. Okay. First of all, I'll activate a wanted thing. Oh yeah, I am pretty excited for the um I, I don't remember it's called White Witch or White Forest. White Forest Witch. Uh wait, hold on. Uh what do I want in the graveyard? Mm. First of all, I think I summon an airlifter. And I'll grab Emergency! Yeah, the archetype looks pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, there's also this one, I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's this one, like, Dragon Synchro deck. That, it's a turn two Dragon Synchro deck that just spams everything. Which, I think is just really funny. It just, like, Synchro summons non-stop during the battle phase. And its field spell is the same. It, it, this field spell is the exact same as the gimmick puppet field spell, of which it just ignores everything. And I'm like, okay, that's actually ridiculously broken. But at the same time, tur going second decks kind of need to be broken. They kind of need to be broken, otherwise, they don't work. Um, okay. So I think I add an impulse to the hand. Tenpai, the beloved going second superstar. I think it, like, it looked, to me, it looks more fun. It looks more fun than Makonko's. And I already really like Makonko's because I think going second decks are funny. Until, you know, you just... Uh, hold on, what do I tribute? I tribute... This card. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, unless, until someone just completely ruins Makako's by using it as an engine. I think like, isn't um, the Ritual Monster, I think it's a uh, level six, which means that you could use it in the, uh, what's it called? The Beatrice in Beatrice combos. <laughs> it was like, no, that's not how you're supposed to use Makako's. And your opponent's like, too bad I summon a rank six, haha. <laughs> And then, okay, now I end my turn. Also, unlike Makonko, has lines that apparently can OTK under prosperity and room to play a bunch of hand traps, true evolution. It is actually interactable, kind of. Kind of. Okay, it's un interactable if you go outside of archetype. Makonko's already see uh, seen use in the PK for Hari as an extender. Your fear has been validated. <laughs> I know! It's like, I just want to summon the funny zero attack vanilla beat stick that OTKs. A face down has been thrown down. Multiple face downs have been thrown down. Should I be terrified? Should I be concerned?
You know what I'm in the mood for? I'm in the mood for donuts. I haven't had a good donut in, like, a couple of months. I wanna- I wanna get, like- but the nearest Krispy Kreme is, like, 40 minutes drive away from my place. Um, should activate these first. Uh, let me- okay, first of all, I'll activate Rescue during the end phase. I mean, there's other- other donuts are available, but at the same time, why would you want to eat another donut? Well, I guess- I, I mean, like, other donuts are pretty good as well, but they're, they don't compare to Krispy Kreme donuts. But if you eat those, you- whenever I eat those, I definitely go to sleep, like, immediately afterwards. Do I want to activate emergency? Not really. I I'm sorry. Emergency! I haven't had nachos in a while either. Although I'm currently like attempting to not eat as much junk food, but sometimes you just want it. Uh, grab this. Do cops actually eat donuts? Is that actually a thing? Um, let's see here. Okay, so first of all, I'll go into an IP using these two cards. Because your face downs terrify me. Emergency! Okay. Um. I mean, it's probably fine. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Could extinguish this. I think I'm going to. Hmm. No, but could be another thing. Han shot it. Okay. I mean, I have like most of my back row intact already, so it's probably fine. Uh, I think I. Yeah, I probably should. Oh no, I'll just extinguish this now. Actually, I probably should have just made it go face down first. Oh well. Probably should have just flipped it face down. Okay. Mm, that is fine. I didn't actually really need the IP effect that much anyways. Now that I know it's probably not Mirror Force. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Reinforce does not protect from spell traps. Interestingly enough, Rescue Ace counters Rescue Ace. <laughs> Okay, and then next, I normal summon the Impulse, uh, which allows me to special summon the Fire Engine. It's so cool looking, look at it. How is this a Fire Engine? It has like many, many saw blades. Of course, Rescue 8 beats Rescue 8, fight fire with fire. Technically, you're fighting... Technically, you're fighting water with water. Or, I don't know. There's just some, some kind of weird, bizarre coit, like, some kind of weird, bizarre pun to come out of this. Wait, why can I not two effect? Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. If IP Masquerina is negated, does it not count as an effect monster anymore?
What the heck? I can't link summon with this? That is actually very strange. Okay. Well, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I, I'm probably... Can, I probably have enough damage anyways. But yeah, that is actually really weird. Uh, I'll summon... Another copy of Preventer. Wait, no, that summons in defense, pos defense position. Dang it. Dang it. Oops. 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 Then I'll activate the HQ in order to return all these guys. Um, okay, there we go. I did not know that. If its effect gets negated, it doesn't count as an effect monster anymore. That is... That is something that is definitely gonna get people in trouble in IRL Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> judge! Judge! My opponents say that I can't link summon using my effect monster. No, Jimmy, that's not an effect monster anymore! Judge! This judge is clearly lying. Doesn't want to rescue his traps, make you unable to be used as link uh, material like pseudo spellbound. That could be the case. I have no idea. Contains effect cause it. Oh, contain. All oh, right, right. Contain. Contain is. You know, I haven't actually played. Like, I I actually haven't played against a single rescue ace. Uh, deck before like right now. It's actually kind of weird. I guess I guess no one's pulling for this because they can't afford to. But uh, yeah, okay, I can duel go go next. <clears throat> After a go go, if anyone wants to duel me that I haven't dueled yet, just say so now. Otherwise, I'll probably uh, wind the stream down there because I am getting a little tired. Interestingly, my throat isn't as sore as I thought it would be. Well, I did take a cough drop before, directly before the stream started, but at the same time, I barely drank any water. The Rescue Ace Mirror seems awful. Yeah, it kind of counters itself. Well, I guess it's heavily dependent on who goes first, which, I, I mean... That's basically the case for a rescue ace, regardless of if, if it's a mirror match or not. Uh, okay. The cards tonight in my hand are very awkward. Uh, I'll activate Bonfire. And I'll add a Poplar. And I'll summon a Poplar. And add a Sinful Spoils. And I'll activate Sinful Spoils. To grab me a Fire Hydrant. My hand is so weird right now. And... I'll grab an Airlifter. For my deck and I'll summon the airlifter and it's going to get to be an emergency and I'll use the emergency in order to grab out the turbulence and I'll tribute the hydrant that's in my hand. Thank you, drawing multiple copies of hydrant. And which allows me to set my stuff. And this here. 
and this one here. And then I'll activate ALERT! To grab the Preventer. Okay, like the new, the new Rescue Ace cards are actually really, really good. They really tie the entire deck together. Uh, I don't need this ban this in my graveyard. You know, thinking about it, it might have been a better idea to banish the Hydrant from my graveyard so that it can't get called by. Oh well. Okay, a uh, flame buffalo. Mm. I'm going to put this face down because I can't put Link Monster's face down. That is illegal. So says Konami. Oh, hello, top deck that I was totally gonna get anyways. <laughs> Uh, okay. Actually, there, I don't think there's a reason for me to grab this. Yeah, there's actually no reason for me to grab this right now. <laughs> and I'll grab... an Impulse. And I think I'll just attack normally. Maybe I should summon the Impulse first. Oh well, whatever. I'll just attack normally. Wait, how much defense does Flame Buffalo have? Dang it, I should have I should have activated HQ and attacked with the fire hydrant. Because I think that's funnier. Pot of greed. When the opponent you can some of this card from your hand attack position, you cannot be disturbed by battle this turn. I see. I see. Um, okay, in that case... I will... EXTINGUISH! I guess now there is reason for me to play this field spell. And then... Um... Wait, no, I should have activated re REINFORCE! First. Oh well. I'll just activate it now. Should have activated it earlier, oh well. And then I'll activate the HQ and get my stuff back. So I can just use it all over again. And it's time to spend 30 seconds uh, resolving a single effect. Because <laughs> that's how long it takes for this. You know what's funny is technically with this deck, Called by the Grave is technically a nerf because you don't have enough room to set it. You don't have enough room to set Imperm either. Um, and I guess I'll just end my- no, I can activate this. And I'll just add this to my hand, even though I don't need it. And I'll just end my turn. I foresee people using the, uh... I, for I foresee people using Harpy's Feather Duster, or, or that. Th that is also a card that exists. Well, I guess I just have to activate all these now. Uh, okay. So... First... 
No, I'll protect this one. This one's a bit more important. Add one rescue case from your hand. Uh, okay, I can activate alert. And... Do I have anything in my graveyard? No, I don't I don't actually need to activate this. This doesn't this just bricks my ward right now. Wait, did he choose the monster wipe? Uh I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Oh he did. Oops. Oops. I know how to read. It's probably fine. I have like a bunch of stuff. Uh, I can contain. Wait, no. I should activate this first. And then I can contain. And I'll summon this back because it's a bit more important right now. And I can easily get back another engine dude in my graveyard. I can also I, I can easily get another turbulence using fire hydrant. Or I think this one is a bit more important right now. I don't think I'm going to use Extinguish right now, just in case. I will use Reinforce to reset something, though. Wait. Okay. Um. And I'll use this to get back my Turbulence. I like the little water effects that come out of Turbulence. I think it's kind of funny. I'll hold on to the Extinguish right now in case there's another hand trap that special summons itself. And... I guess I'll just shuffle these back into the deck. Probably should have shuffled back to Preventer instead, but oh well. I have so much cards! I have so much gas! And I guess I'll just attack like a normal person now. GO! ATTACK! My 3000 attack vanilla beat stick! Checking for... Uh, Gorzes. Alright, GG. This deck is pretty fun, but it's pretty complicated to use. <laughs> I could only use it for so long until I go insane. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the stream there for today. Um, so next week, uh, I will most likely be playing uh, Sonic Adventure DX Chaos Edition on Friday again at 3 p.m. PST. Uh, I'm tr currently trying to see if my younger brother has like time so that we can like try streaming Helldivers too sometime. But on Saturday, I'm gonna be going back to Master Duel. Probably gonna be using an old deck because look at look at my gems. Look at my gems, Konami. I cannot make any more new decks. And I don't want to stream Duel Links because I cannot make new decks in Duel Links either. Ah, But that's gonna be it for me for today. So if you've been watching for this long, I thank you for waiting. No, I need to end the poll first. What did, what did people say? Please ban the Bell Star. Broke gang, let's go. Let's go! Zero people wanna play illusion. Yeah, illusions are not good. I think like once the uh that one new illusion via Bell Star monster comes out, then it'd be pretty interesting, but uh, I'm gonna end it there for today, so if you watch for this long, I thank you for watching. I've been Kid Yaki, you've been beautiful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!